Here's an insurance you might not think about, and that's boat insurance. Um, that's a type of policy that you can get to financially protect you if you own a boat. Um, you know, it's, it's also about personal liability if anybody gets injured on that boat. Um, it's not required by law, but it's highly recommended for anybody who owns a boat. And that's because somehow your boat, you know, and forget that it's your boat and you want to replace it if something happens to it, but just being out on the water, uh, things happen and you want to be protected. It's like anything else. You would probably wouldn't drive around. I know it's a law, but you might not drive around without car insurance. Uh, but boat policies uh, typically cover a variety of risks. Uh, that's damage to your boat, theft, and personal liability. And some also, uh, some policies will also cover medical expenses and towing. And that, you know, towing might be really important. Somehow your boat gets stranded out there and you have to have it towed in. That's uh, you know, it can be expensive, but when purchasing it, it's important to consider what's the level of coverage that you need. Um, it'll depend on a variety of factors, and that would be uh, the value of your boat, the type of boat you own, and how you use your boat. So if your boat is uh, used for business, then clearly you, you want that because you're having people on it versus it, you're just taking it out in Conroe and you're just kind of floating around or maybe you're taking it somewhere um, where you're not around anybody um, and you're just fishing. Um, but that's something to think about, big boat, little boat, the coverage. Um, also, um, uh, you know, if you're doing recreational, there's still liabilities that can happen because you can always have somebody come upon you and start acting crazy and you think I'm going to get away from them, but somehow you end up, you know, getting in a wreck or something. Another important consideration when purchasing it is, again, I'm going to talk about the deductible because deductible is the amount that you have to spend out of pocket before insurance has to spend any money, before they have to give you any money. So you really need to choose something that you think you can afford to pay in that event. Um, it's also important to understand the limitations of your boat's insurance policy. For example, uh, most policies have limits about the amount of coverage for certain types of personal property, such as fishing equipment, electronics. You know, most people don't trailer, oh, I don't know, I can't say most people, I don't really know, but let's just say half of the people trailer their boat and the other half leave it in a slip. Um, you want to think about that if you're not able to take your electronics off of it. You need to think about that if there's a theft because, you know, the place where it is may or may not really be able to protect it to the extent that you need it protected. So, um, you, if you need to get additional uh, insurance for that, you need to make sure you tell your agent. Um, there we are on boat insurance. I have some more about boat fraud and other ones, but I'll do that in another segment. Stay safe and be prepared.